Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about why narcissists come back after discarding you. Please hit the thumbs up button down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website, it is narcsurvivor.co.uk. The narcissist will drop subtle hints that you've done something wrong to let you know that you've hurt their feelings. They will become passive aggressive where they're indirectly resistant to you at expressing their negative feelings while avoiding direct confrontation until they feel like their grandiose and superior sense of self is challenged and they experience a narcissistic injury and then they're ready to discard you where they will dispose of you or ghost you and even end communication with you altogether because at that point they view you as worthless, as beneath their consideration, which can be very confusing. Because if you're so bad and you're not worth anything, then why would they come back to you? Why wouldn't they just leave you alone, especially if they've moved on to new supply? Or they might even be married to someone else. But yet, they keep coming back to you because they're not finished with you yet and they don't want you to move on. Because once they've gained access to you and they've used your body, they see it as though you belong to them now. They claim ownership over you. They believe that they own your life and existence as though they're your master, your God, and as though you exist to serve them. Because they're mentally ill and they're unable to take care of themselves. So they want to keep you close. They depend on whatever source was of most use to them. And that source must be you. Because you cared enough about them to find your way to my videos so they see it as though they own you, as though you're a part of them. Which is why they will treat you as though you belong to them, as though they can talk to you however they like and do whatever they want with you. Because in their minds, you belong to them, even though they may have moved on and they have a relationship with someone else, or they may even be married. And yet they still keep coming back to you. They're texting you and calling you or they're stalking you on social media because they want you to remain in their life. Which is why they will deliberately make it difficult for you to move on so that they can still have access to you. They will never completely cut you off. They will just relegate you to a less important position to serve as a punishment to you. But even then you're still relevant to be punished by them. So they still consider you as a part of them rather than something separate. They still assume ownership of you. Even though they may have done all of these horrible things to you, they will still want to keep you in their life. Which is why they will keep coming back as long as they have an opening to you. If they can text you, they will text you. If they can FaceTime, that's even better. But what they really want is to see you in person because they know their manipulation is going to be far more effective in person than if it's just over the phone. If they're just texting you, you have time to wait and think about what they're saying. You have time to ask questions or to get advice from other people. But when it's in person, you're face to face, you're in direct contact. So then it's going to be difficult for you to resist their advances. 
But usually they can't come back unless you let them, unless you keep the door open. Because most narcissists aren't going to bust the door down. Some of them will, but most of them aren't going to do that. So usually you must be giving them access to your life. Because most narcissists will only come back as long as you're giving them opportunities to communicate. And they will typically contact you when they think you're feeling vulnerable. Because they know that even if you leave the door just a little bit open, they can get in. They know that if they keep texting and calling you, you're not going to be able to resist. And at some point you're going to respond. Because they've seen it before. They understand the effects of their manipulation. So they assume that at some point they're going to have you wrapped around their finger again. And they wouldn't be wrong to think that. Because on average, victims return to the narcissist seven times before it's finally all over. And sometimes a victim can be no contact for months. And the narcissist will still find a way to creep back into their life. They will keep coming back to confuse you so that they can keep getting what they want. And what they want is supply. They want to get a reaction out of you, which is why they will often come back telling you they love you and they miss you. But that's only if they think you're going to be susceptible to it. If they think they're going to be able to rock you to sleep, because otherwise it's going to be negative. And they may come back just to tell you they hate you. But what they really want is for you to still be thinking about them. They want you to love them. Because they're wonderful and amazing. They feed from it. And they will keep coming back for it. And victims are so surprised when the narcissist comes back. But this is often what happens. And it's because of your triggers. You're susceptible to it. So they're able to control you. Which is why they will keep coming back again and again. Because if there's one thing a narcissist wants, it's to feel like they're in control. And you don't even have to respond. All you have to do is leave the door open for them to come in. And they will know that they've got you. They will know that you're under their control. So if they know that they can come back and they're going to keep getting the reactions and responses they want from you, then why would they stop? Why would they not keep coming back to you? There's nothing a narcissist enjoys more than pressing a person's buttons and being able to get the response that they want out of them. Because that is the ultimate source of supply to a narcissist. It tells them that you are completely under their control. So they're going to keep coming back because it makes them feel dominant. It makes them feel like they are the most powerful and important person in your life. Because they manipulated the situation and you still want them. Which they can identify from how you reacted to them. Because just by you being open and letting them back in, it's given them supply. And they will do whatever it takes to get to you and to make that happen. The only time that they won't come back is because they don't want to feel bad about themselves. And this is typically the case with a covert or vulnerable narcissist. But those types of narcissists will never truly be done with you because they are insatiable. They can't be satisfied, so they're always going to want more from you. And no amount of contact is ever going to be enough. They may go off and begin a new situation with a new supply, but that's only because it's easier for them to do that than to continue the situation with you. And just like a murderer or a serial killer, they will keep little souvenirs or trophies small possessions to remind themselves of you before they retreat to their lair and they will disappear only because you're challenging them because you're difficult for them to manipulate and control 
So they ghost you to punish you, to make you feel abandoned. When really they're just projecting that onto you. Because that's how they feel. From no longer being able to manipulate you. From no longer having you under their spell. Which is why they're now having to watch you from afar. Because they can't begin with you like they were before. They know you're not going to tolerate them. But they're watching to see if you're still suffering. After everything they did to you. Because they understand the effects their presence and behaviour has on their victims. But when they're checking in on you, they're seeing that the pain doesn't last. They can see that it's only temporary. So they get hooked on causing certain problems or events to occur in your life. And then they keep watching to gather supply. Because it stimulates them to watch an empath. It's exciting for them. Because you have the full range of emotions. And you can show so many different expressions on your face. Because you're an emotionally healthy person. While they're emotionally dead. So they need your reactions to make them feel alive. Being with you in person doesn't do anything for them. Which is how you may have noticed that whenever you are with them. They seem bored and uninterested. Because what really excites them is when they can watch you from afar. It excites them more than anything they're doing with their new supply. Even more than being intimate or having sex. Which is why even though they will pretend like they've moved on. You will notice signs of them watching you. And they may even be stalking you outside your house. Because it's given them a thrill. And it becomes an addiction. It ends up being harmful to them. Which is why you need to make it more difficult for them to observe you. Because if it hasn't already, it will become an obsession. While you may be underestimating just how much they're watching you. When the reality is that they're not even taking a break. They're constantly thinking about you. And they are constantly watching you. They quite literally can't get enough of you. They're never satisfied. Which is why they may spend years or even decades of their life watching you. While you're not even concerned about them. Or you're trying to get away from them. And you may not have even communicated with them since many years before. But they're watching you because they're bored and dissatisfied with their lives. And things just aren't working out for them. So your life is far more fascinating and interesting for them to watch and observe. Especially since they know you're never going to be like that with them. They know they're never going to be intimately involved with you again. In a space where you feel like you can be yourself without being judged. Because they know that you're never going to accept them in that way again. They know you're not going to give them a chance, which is why they settle for watching you. And in many ways, it excites them more because they're doing something you don't want them to do. They just can't keep their hands off the cookie jar. They can't resist the urge because it tempts and entices them. They keep wondering what they might be missing out on with you. So they have to keep checking in to see what you're doing. Because you're one of a kind, they can't find anyone else like you. And they will never be able to replace you or emulate what they once had with you. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on our website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.